Hold on, I, I'm not done. I want to go out to that farm, actually. I don't got no harpoons. I want to test that harpoon. What the? Yo. Despite our friendly town doing its best to chase you out, you keep helping us ingrates all the same. I got to ask, why do you keep at it? Does it really matter? I suppose not. Most folks exactly. are setting their ways, yes. It makes no difference how hard you try to get in good. Heck, it took my family three generations before the Daltons would sell us a heel of bread. But there's a way. A downright insane way, mind you. You can turn even the most stubborn fool. Why are some harbormen so hostile to outsiders? Most of the folk on this rock believe they've been given a God-given right to walk. The way I figure, if you got the moxie to survive, you earned your place. I'd love to change their opinion. You would right. All main members might get treated better. In olden times, leaders were chosen by something called Captain's Dance. Captain's say, Dance? The toughest, meanest, and outright craziest hopers would chum the walls and lure out the worst the island could throw at. Once the would-be captain killed the Mirelet crew, or Fog Claw, or what have you, they'd invite the whole island to feast off the bounty. You do this, well, you won't be made captain. Earn respect. Everyone is respected. Why are you helping me? My job is to heal. And not just from the physical aspects. The island's in trouble like it's never been. And you might, just might, be the medicine you desperately need. So if we throw this dance, it'll really change their minds? The dance hasn't been done in living memory. Some people think the tradition is dead, but its history is so deep in this island. You do it, and it'll turn heads for certain. I'm ready to become a legend now. You what? <laughs> you crack me up. There's an old Mirelurk feasting grounds by Emmett's Causeway. Oh, we gotta street. fight some more Mirelurks. Go there and throw any kind of meat you got into the water. All that blood and viscera will be sure to attract attention. Then wait. I'll make sure there's a witness or two. Prove to the rest of these clods in the law. Well, if they don't die, wait on. Wait on. Right a passage. Oh my God. We doing business. Show me what you got. You got it. I need some some harpoon ammo. They're cheap too. Bro, can I use this? What happened? I completed a quest. I'm gonna run some diagonal. What kind of upgrades we have? Oh God! Look at this beast! <laughs> We'll get a sight. Uh, harpoons. Machete. Let's break this down. To put all the junks in the meanwhile here temporarily. Docking back. Beach up. Don't let the island catch you off guard. Why my goodness? Now let's see how this beast looks like. Oh damn! <laughs> I look ridiculous with it, but that this thing looks like a beast. We're gonna test it on that fog collar. That's for damn sure. So after we kill, uh, well, how far is this place? We're not going there yet. <laughs> so we're gonna go Delton Farm first and kill the legendary fog collar. Hopefully we can kill it without dying. <laughs> I haven't died a long time in this game ever since I reached a higher level, so we'll see how this goes.
Alright, we're back out here. Uh oh. Got super moons though, so we gotta watch our butts. There's a little hospital out here. Could be abandoned. Oh, super mutants. Most likely, super mutants are waiters. Oh my god. Goodness. Yep, this place is definitely super mutant. A noise. Oh yeah, it's a noise. Eat grenade. So we have run into a super mutant encampment. I'll take that and sell it later on. Wow, this. Yeah, uh, yeah. This DLC definitely looks gorgeous. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, can we get up to this tree? Yes, yes. Perhaps, perhaps. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Can we ever get inside this place? Yeah, but we're not doing that, at least not now. We want to go out here and kill the fog crawler. You'll be good, be good. Oh, 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 oh. I thought for sure it's gonna fall for my death. <laughs> Alright, before we do anything, let's hot key this harpoon gun. We might be able to get a surprise hit on that thing. It might take a long time to reload because it is a considered a heavy weapon. Ugh. We could turn this into a sentiment too. Dalton's farm. This place is pretty much a graveyard. Question is, I don't know where this thing is at, so I am a little bit afraid. I don't know how. Oh, look at that. So, yeah, I can't have any sentiment until the fog is clear. Oh, I hear it. Holy crap. That is not a Morlock. What the hell is that thing? Look at that damage protection though. Alright, so the face seems to be the weak spot. Oh. Uh oh. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. This thing is a beast. Holy shit. All right, we gotta take some Kims. That's for damn sure. Oh! Eat my wage! Ah! <laughs> come on! Come on! Ooh! Get out of here, my friend! 
You have no measure. What the heck are you? You're like a giant. I don't know. It looks like a giant spider. I have no clue what this thing is. It looks like a giant spider. Look at that. It has a or a giant cockroach. I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure, but that thing disturbs me. I don't like the way that thing looks. Oh, stay away from that car! There we go. One way to end the episode. Alright, so let's head back to Far Harbor and give Casey the good news. Casey, I got the good news. I killed that fog crawler. Grandpa George can rest in peace. The fog crawler is dead. Indeed. That's another chapter successfully concluded. You truly are the heroic adventure, I hope to. Yeah. With that fog crawler gone, we can send some folks up there to get the place ready. That's right. The fog is yours. But the fog is so out there, though. It'll take work to get it up and running again, but you'll have help. And here's another 200 caps in gratitude for your service to the great Dalton lineage. Really? It's no trouble. Well, I hope you know how much it means to me that Grandpa George can finally rest in peace. Now, I don't have to tell you that the bonds of blood and family are strong, as strong as any of us can But if you ask me, the strongest among them is the bond that exists between two married people. That's why the last part of this tale is the hardest one for me to tell. Oh, man. You were married. What happened? My late husband, Daniel, was the best fisherman this island ever seen. He and his crew had a favorite fishing spot out by Brooks Head Lighthouse. One day, a day I'll never forget, I see Danny's boat pulling up with his crewmen all shouting and carrying on. Turns out some trappers moved into the lighthouse. No doubt because the island told them to. They are crazy than a bag of more. Their leader was having a little target practice. Shot Danny right between the eyes. Killed oh, damn. You can get that sandwich. You make him pay for doing the island's bidding. Damn. That's how I get to the Brookshead Lighthouse. It's southwest of town, not far from the quarry. I'll make that trapper pay. All right then. Remember, trappers may be crazy for the fog, but they still know how to use it. Then. Oh yeah, I know, I know. All right, so that is going to be it today for Far Harbor DLC. I have been recording this for literally, I think, four hours straight. So I had to stop playing this, get right into editing pretty quickly. But yeah, my first impression with Far Harbor DLC. It is. I am having a blast. This is, this is what a DLC should have been for Automatron, but we finally got our very first expansion pack for Far Four. Yeah, I'm not calling it DLC. This is an expansion pack, not a DLC content. And 
big kudos to big kudos to Bethesda for making this DLC for us. But there's still a lot of places to explore. So like, look at this. Look how big this place is. So we got that. We got that. Still pretty big. I don't think it's not as big as Shivering Isles. I might be completely wrong, but at least it is a new world space. We got new enemies, new locations, new weapons, new quests, new story, new faction, etc. It's a blast, dude. This DLC is pretty top notch. Don't know what Bethesda is going to make after this, but hopefully they make another expansion pack rather than the, the very disappointing Wasteland Workshop, which that should have been in the game in the first place. But yeah, I'm having a blast with this game, so... I'm not sure if this DLC should be harder, because I, like I said, I am pretty high level and my guns are, t are very top, very high end, so... I don't know, it's maybe, I don't know. We'll see how it goes as I progress through the game, as I level up. But I'm never going to be playing more of Far Harbor soon, so expect more Far Harbor DLC content on either Monday or Tuesday. Or maybe later the week on Thursday or Friday, but I'm never gonna keep playing this uh, this game, this DLC. See what secret lies in Fire Harbor? Why does a fog that in loves the whole island and anybody that goes in it either just disappear forever or they just come back bunkers? So yeah, guys. So that's gonna be it today for Fire Harbor. If you guys enjoyed that video, hit that like button. If you guys didn't like the video, hit that dislike button. And you guys got any other suggestions for me to try out, like mods, uh, any other games you want me to try out, leave in the comments down below. And until then guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace.